In this video, I'm going to give you my top 5 accessories for better video using the Canon M6 Mark II. Coming up. When it comes to video, sound is half the experience. The Canon M6 Mark II has a built-in microphone, but the microphone that's built into the Canon M6 Mark II has its limitations. As you can hear now, this is straight out of the camera with the Canon M6 Mark II. And as you can hear, the sound is okay, but it could be a lot better. And what they say is, a lot of people can watch a really bad quality video as long as the audio is good. If the audio is bad, it doesn't matter how good the quality of the video is, people won't watch that video. One of the first accessories that I got from my Canon M6 Mark II was the Rode Video Micro. This is Rode's smallest and cheapest microphone, but that doesn't mean that the quality is Bad. What's positive about this microphone is that you don't need extra batteries for this microphone to work. You can just plug it in and it works great with the camera. And now I have the Rode Video Micro connected to my Canon M6 Mark II. And as you probably can hear, the sound is a lot better with the microphone. So if you're into filmmaking and video, the first thing that I would get as an accessory to my camera is some kind of microphone. If you think about the auto quality that this microphone gives you according to the price tag, I think that this microphone, the Rode Video Micro, is a really good buy. Now there are a lot of microphones out on the market and some people think that there are a lot of cheaper alternatives to the Rode Video Micro that gives you even a better result. I can't speak for them and my experience with the Rode Video Micro is really great. I don't have affiliate links on my YouTube channel so I don't make money from advertising the Rode Video Micro. If you're looking for a microphone, the Rode Video Micro is a really cheap, good alternative to your camera. Like the other M-series cameras from Canon, the Canon M6 Mark II is a really compact and small camera. And the compact size of the Canon M6 Mark II makes it really easy to just throw this camera in a bag. Don't throw the camera, put it nicely down so you don't break it, but to just put the camera in a bag and take it with you wherever you wanna go and get some really good photos or video. The small compact size of this camera might be a disadvantage when it comes to shooting video. Because the smaller the camera, the easier it is to get shaky footage. So the second accessory to the Canon M6 Mark II is a cage. This cage puts some more weight to the camera so it's more easy to hold the camera steady when you're shooting video. One other thing with the Canon M6 Mark II is the flip up screen. If you're into vlogging, you probably know that the flip up screen is not as good as option as the flip out screen that comes with the Canon M50. Because on the top of the Canon M6 Mark II, you have a hot shoe mount. And if you're gonna put a microphone on this hot shoe mount, you're not able to use the flip up screen when you're vlogging. So another positive thing having a cage on your camera is that you can put a microphone on the side of the camera now and you're able to use your screen when you're vlogging. The third accessory for better video with the Canon M6 Mark II is using a neck strap. With this neck strap, you can get more stable footage than just going handheld. There are a lot of ways using a neck strap in order to get stable footage. And there are a lot of different shots that you can get with a neck strap. I will link a video down below from another YouTuber that did a video with tips and tricks on how to get stable footage using a neck strap. And I highly recommend that you go watch that video after this video. Now the fourth accessory for video I want to talk about today, the one that I have right here is a variable ND filter. Now if I put this on my camera, you can see that the picture got a lot darker. 
with the variable ND filter, I can turn this around and I can make the image brighter and darker. Outside right now, there's a lot of clouds in the sky, so I'm not in any need of using an ND filter. When you're outside filming on bright sunny days, using an ND filter on your camera, you can still keep a wide aperture. That means that instead of closing down that aperture to get less light into your sensor, you now can have a wide aperture and get that nice blurry background in your footage. What I would do when it comes to an ND filter is that I would get an ND filter that fits the biggest lens that you own and then get step down rings in order to make that filter fit all your lenses. Now the size of this ND filter is 52 millimeter. That's because the biggest lens that I had when I bought this filter was the Young Nuo Nifty 50 and that is 52 millimeters. And then I bought step down rings. And with this step down ring, I now can put this 52 millimeter ND filter onto my 22 millimeter pancake lens, which is a 43 millimeter lens. And now my 52 millimeter ND filter fits my 22 millimeter pancake lens, which is a 43 millimeter size. Take a look at all your lenses, check out which lens has the widest diameter and then get an ND filter that fits that lens or any other ND filter that's bigger and then buy step down rings in order for that filter to fit all your lenses. That way you don't have to buy a filter for each and every one of your lenses. Canon has a variety of cameras. There are different kind of mounts depending on what kind of camera you have. Canon's M6 Mark II is in the M series of cameras. The M series of cameras uses an EFM lens mount. And you have to get an EFM lens for the lens to fit the camera. There are some EFM lenses out there, but the variety of EFM lenses is not that big if you compare it to the EF lenses or the EFS lenses. So what I would recommend as a fifth and last accessory to your camera is to get an adapter for your camera. This right here is the normal EF to EFM adapter from Canon. With this adapter, you now can use EF and EFS lenses on your Canon M6 Mark II. So with this adapter, you now can use all the EF lenses and all the EFS lenses that are out there. And as we know, it's not always the camera that gives a certain kind of look to your footage, it's the lens that you are using. So with an adapter, you now get a whole different kind of range in lenses and you can choose from a variety of different kind of looks to your footage. So that's the video for this week. I hope you got something out of it. If you like to, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So that's it for me. Thank you. And maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.